Hey everybody, this is Brittany here from Surfing Waves of Light, and I feel inspired to channel a message, so I'm going to let the guides come in. Um, and just for clarification, um, I'm feeling much less called to identify these messages with specific names or affiliations. Um, the way my guides work is that they just bring what is needed in the moment. And there are many different influences and um, Asante Germain and the Arcturians are a big part of that guidance. And I'm sure they will still be coming through with, you know, their own specific energies. But right now, um, what is being called for is, um, it's more cohesive among different energies. So just wanted to share that, but I'm going to see what the guides have to say. Greetings, dear beings. We are the Arcturian Council, and we are pleased to connect with all of you. We are a collective of beings who comes at this time with the synthesis and energies of many other collectives, we will be decreasing the use of names over time as we invite you all to identify with our energies. And if you were present and open for the breathing beginning of this channeling where this being was getting into her state, you may feel our energies today. And you may notice that they are a bit different than our transmissions in the past. As your consciousnesses evolve, this energy will too. So know that names or no names, we are not limited and we are constantly evolving and the energies are continuously changing to match the beautiful progression that each and every one of you has walked.
And so, on this occasion, we've come to speak with you about the importance of feeling. The importance of feeling into each and every moment of each and every day. We invite you to encapsulate this conversation in a nuanced manner, applying and assimilating this information as it fits into your life in the version of a tiny baby step. And so we proceed. There is a common request among spiritual teachers, seekers, and loving information. This request is involving feeling into the moment, being present, being at peace. And so many of you do not fully understand why this is of great importance, why this is part of the path to leading a better life. You see, when you are feeling into each and every moment you, you will be directed the energies that you need to progress into the higher and higher timelines. You see, the energies are constantly shifting. And so when you feel into each and every moment, you get the most up-to-date guidance from us from your team of loving teachers who can tell you using good feeling what the next most logical step is for you. The next step that will be in your highest good, your highest path and purpose. This is constantly changing. There are other aspects of this world that can have an effect on you based on where your consciousness is. For example, where the planets and the stars and the collective consciousness is, this all can have its effect. So if you feel into each and every moment, you will be able to act accordingly with the energies. You see, many of you are so used to fighting against the energy. Some of you have never gone with the flow or know what it was like to live a life outside of the scheduled box that this society puts each and every one of you in or tries. And so there is a phenomenon on your Western planet called the Sunday jitters. This is where a being feels nervous and anxious about the work week on Monday. And so your medicine systems diagnose this as anxiety or depression or normal within your standards. But in truth, this is telling you something. This is indicating to you that you are not feeling in alignment with returning to that heavy workload. And what we witness happening on the weekends here on this planet is beings get a taste of freedom and Monday morning they are back on the grind for five days doing an endless task of things and having days that have been planned for them months and years in advance with no choice about how the day will be spent or how the day will come and This is a bit of a predicament from our perspective for even if we are sending the most perfect, infinitely intelligent energies and messages, these beings are not able to receive them 
for their days have been planned for them. And so these Sunday jitters, there is a feeling of deeper disconnection, deeper separation from oneself and from God, from the universe, the initial shift that occurred that brought upon this separated state you are all experiencing. And so a form of that occurs when you have to do things that are not in true alignment with your spirit. And now this being, she is very much in the human world. And so she asks us to walk softly and gently with this topic because she sees from the human side, from the experience side, and she knows from her own personal journey how difficult it is to make new decisions, to leave structured jobs and places with regular paychecks. And for some, this is highly appropriate. There is joy and ease and care being given and that is different but for those of you who feel anxiety before going to work have those Sunday jitters know that this serves a purpose for you this is a small bell of awakening of alarm of letting you know that there is another option out there letting you know that you are not fully in alignment and giving you the opportunity ultimately to feel into each moment. We are of the feeling that beings should, should, that beings could, if they chose, spend lots of time working, spending 40-hour weeks or longer working, but we prefer that beings work for and with themselves or for a project or a passion that lights them up for those 40 hours or 50 hours a week where there is some choice in the creative expression and where the beings can regroup, resound, Sit for a moment and see what feels good. See what is the next logical step as opposed to the one that is dictated by the job or by the boss or by the society. So we just see that because of the situation many beings are in, going to jobs they don't necessarily love, feeling anxiety, part of this process also puts you in a perpetual state of being very comfortable with not listening to your feeling self. Many of you are so conditioned to override your feeling self. It feels unnatural to honor oneself. Some beings don't even know how to honor oneself. They are so in the wheel of life, the cycle of life that is easily prescribed by the masses. So we want you to understand that feeling into each moment is important because it allows you to get the highest information, the most love and light and receive the energies and use them the most effectively. This is a transition. This takes time. But we want you to know the importance of feeling the energies in each moment. For from the moment of feeling, inspired action occurs. And through inspired action, time is saved and much is accomplished. And when you surrender to the divine, when you surrender to the will of your higher self, which is you, just a part of yourself you are not aware of, when you surrender to this, you allow yourself to live a beautiful dreamy life as you drift on the sea closer and closer to reconnecting with your brothers, your sisters, your whole oneself that decided to experience itself 
in different forms, in different lives, in different experiences. So as always, we encourage you to enjoy the journey, to find more time to honor your feelings in each moment and enjoy the flow that occurs when you do. We are the Arcturian Council, the ever evolving energies of love and light and practicality and a sprinkling of dust of whatever else is needed. And we will speak to you again at another time. All right. That was the Arcturian Council and the evolving energies. They have such a beautiful way of saying things. <laughs> um, yeah, so I wanted to transmit that message. It actually started coming through last night, but I was already in bed and I felt so tired. Um, I just didn't want to get up. And I, it was coming through, I feel like, a little better last night. But that's my own self-critical judgment and something I'm going to release anyway. But uh, I find that sometimes my guides, they keep me awake until I like channel the message. It's almost like the energy comes. And when I get it, that's the right time. Speaking of following in the moment. Um, I have gotten out of bed many a times to channel message. Last night, I just... I was, I was being stubborn. So anyway, so I did it tonight. It went great. You guys can let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, so just feeling into each moment. Um, and yeah, you guys know what to do. They already said it. I'm still feeling a little lightheaded. That energy was, felt really strong. So also let me know in the comments, did you feel energy as I was getting into the state? Um, because when I got into the state, my ego was like, we need to say something, you know, we're like sitting here, we're taking a long time, <laughs> you know, I can, I can hear myself. It's really, um, very cool sometimes when I'm very aware, but myself is like, okay, it's time to say, like, who is this? What energy is this? And, um, the energy was just saying, no, you just need to like sit here and breathe and let people feel. They have such an emphasis on feeling because the feeling is the messages. So they want you to feel the energy and they want you to see what does it bring up in you. My words, they're using my consciousness. And so um, my consciousness being separated, it doesn't have access to everything. So I'm doing the best I can to transmit these messages. And um, we don't want you to take anything too literally. We just want you to feel into what is this energy saying? Is this energy saying, you know, take an extra lunch? Or is this energy saying shift jobs? Um, just listen um, and, and allow the path to unfold. I think I jump the guns sometimes a little too much. But at the same time, it felt really guided too, so... Just enjoy the journey, as they say, and you know, let me know what you think about the energies. I'm just still feeling a bit out of it. So love you guys so much. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate it. It's so cool to me, and I will talk to you again at another time.